Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss on five requirements elicitation session mistakes. Before even I begin with this topic, I just want to ensure your awareness about requirement elicitation. Now when I say requirement elicitation, this is ideally a phase in business analysis where we try to understand a piece of requirement as much as possible so that we can translate it into requirements. When I say requirements elicitation, it's an exploratory phase where the requirements are broadly discussed and not confirmed, preceded by requirements discovery phase and succeeded by requirements gathering phase. So requirements elicitation is not the starting phase, rather there is a phase before this and that phase is requirement discovery phase where we tend to do lots of document analysis which helps us in eliciting the right requirements from the right stakeholders. Furthermore, it is succeeded by requirement gathering phase wherein whatever we have broadly discussed during requirements elicitation phase, we translate those requirements into documents like your functional specification document or business requirement document or into small small subsets of artifacts like screen mockup, process flows, UML diagrams, data dictionary and so on. Just in case you want to know more about all these phases and what all documentation we prepare during these phases, you can check out the other sessions. Now when we go for requirement elicitation meeting, we tend to do some mistakes. It's not only that only an entry level business analyst does this mistake. Any business analyst at any um, experience band can commit these mistakes. And there are certain ways in which you could avoid these mistakes. So the very first mistake that a business analyst does during requirement elicitation session is ineffective listening. They don't listen to whatever being discussed during the elicitation session. In order to ensure that the requirement elicitation session is successful, you need to listen carefully to all the viewpoints of every stakeholder in the meeting. Typically what happens is, whenever you are sitting in a requirement elicitation session, the business stakeholder doesn't come and give you the requirements right up front. There are multiple viewpoints which are being discussed. Now, as a human tendency, we as a business analyst tend to ignore those viewpoints. Rather, we are focused more on getting concrete requirements which could essentially be translated into requirements documentation. But in this process, we tend to miss out on the stakeholders viewpoints. Now these viewpoints are nothing but the business needs that we are missing out. We need to understand the business need. As a business analyst, a prime responsibility is to understand the business needs. Documentation is something that is essentially an outcome that you give to your implementation team. But you need to understand the business needs. So always listen carefully on what is being discussed 
in requirement elicitation session. Now small tip here could be to record the meeting so that you can replay the session. Now there could be multiple situations here. Maybe you are conducting this meeting in the second half of your day and you are very tired and you cannot pay attention into all the viewpoints or all the areas which are being touched upon during this meeting. So a small tip here could be to record the meeting so that you can replay the session when you are trying to document the outcomes of this meeting. Mistake number two, attending unprepared. Usually what happens is we as a business analyst are completely dependent on the business stakeholder or feel that we are completely dependent on business stakeholder. If stakeholder says X equals Y, then we will write that in the requirement document that X equal Y. Why X is equal to Y? We don't ask them. And why we don't ask them? Because we do not apply our analytical thinking ability to make ourselves prepared enough to ask the right questions. So if you attend unprepared, you could not ask the right question. You need to research a lot before attending elicitation session. So elicitation session is not like it would go for about one month or two months. There's a limited number of session. Your business takes out time to prepare, uh, I mean, attend for this session. You need to value their time and your time as a business analyst. So you cannot attend a meeting unprepared. So a small tip here would be to research as much as possible and identify the correct questions or you can consult and review your questions with an expert, sometimes referred to as expert judgment technique. If you don't know the answer, reach out to an expert within your organization who could essentially help you in terms of finding your answer. If in case they do not have an answer, they would help you formulate a right set of questions that you can prepare and attend this elicitation meeting. In that context, the meeting would be much more fruitful and outcome based. Mistake number three, talking of the context. It has been observed almost in every business analyst career that if you set a requirement elicitation meeting for an hour, more or less, maybe once in 100 meeting, your stakeholder gets more comfortable with you. And they try to talk off the context. Well, there is no harm in talking off the context, but you need to first strictly adhere with the agenda for which the meeting has been set. If you go on talking off the context, you may miss out on important viewpoints for which the meeting has been set, or you may not get the right requirements at right time. So you need to ensure that you are well prepared for talking and adhering strictly with the agenda. A small tip to mitigate this is to ensure your questions are well queued to accommodate the session duration. So if let's say you feel your time box a question of around five minutes. So if it's a one hour session, you can ask 10 to 12 questions. So that whatever 10 to 12 questions you ask within an hour, there is no time left for the business stakeholder to talk off the context. Mistake number four, not visualizing the need. 
Now it is very important to make your stakeholders visualize requirements. Now our stakeholder could be technical, they could be non-technical, they could be completely from business background. You never know what kind of stakeholder you are dealing with. But when you are gathering requirement or eliciting requirement, it's very important for you to make your stakeholder visualize what you are discussing. If they are unable to visualize what you are discussing, the meeting has absolute no value. You need to make them understand how the proposed system would look like or how the pro proposed system would function. So a small tip here would be you ensure that you prepare some flowcharts and wireframes for your stakeholders for handy reference. Just in case the business do not understand your textual explanation via documentation or your verbal explanation, you can explain them with the help of flowchart or wireframe which is also referred to as UI screens or prototype. Now flowchart and wireframes are pictorial representation of what is proposed for a specific piece of software that is under consideration. This would enlighten their visualization and essentially help you in terms of eliciting the right requirements. Mistake number five, not giving options. Now it's very important for you to apply your analytical thinking here. Don't agree to whatever business says. Now why I am saying this statement, based on my experience, a business user or a business stakeholder do not have that much time or I would say they do not have that much visualization for a specific set of requirements. We as a business analyst are business representatives. We need to make them understand what they are explaining or what they are giving us as a requirement. We are responsible to uncover the business need behind the requirement. Now if business says I need a drop down and I need a text box, you need to Ask them, what is your thought process behind it? Why you need that text box or why you need that drop down? What is your thought process? Can drop down be replaced with a radio button or group box or any XYZ controls? You can certainly give them options. You are not someone who takes order. You have to question them. Because that is why you are business analyst. You need to understand their viewpoint and find the reason behind their viewpoint. A small tip here would be to work with your internal technical and functional team for possible approaches and options. Now you as a business analyst might not have fair visibility in terms of giving options to business. So always consult with your internal technical or functional team for various approaches that you could offer to your business stakeholder or various options from a technical standpoint that you could offer to your business stakeholder that could be considered. So the gist of all this is all that starts well ends well. The better requirement elicitation sessions you conduct, the better and concrete would be your requirement gathering phase. So ensure you utilize the most of the time invested in requirement elicitation session. Ensure you do not commit any of these five mistakes that I am explaining you based on my experience and my colleagues' experiences 
as a business analyst. There are some free business analysis courses which are now live on my channel for people who are entry level or aspiring to be a business analyst for them the business analysis masterclass is an ideal choice for people who need basic plus a little extra they can go for emerging business associate program for people who need basic plus a little advanced they can go for emerging business executive program simply follow one of the playlist on my channel for more content you can visit my website you can book free discussions as a youtube subscriber you can register for webinar you can enroll for membership and yes if you did like this video consider subscribing to this channel with this i want to thank you all for your time invested in watching this video Thank you.